Hello, so in this video, we'll be seeing the health checks of Isilon. So what are the things that we need to do and health check, complete health check for a Isilon cluster. So we'll start with the CLI. So the first command is easy status command. So this will show you the dashboard, I mean overview of all the nodes. So here you can see all the nodes are green. So that means we don't have any issues on any of the nodes. So if there is any issue on any of the node, this particular green will turn into an attention state. Or if this particular no node is getting failed, then it will go into a smart fail state. Or if it is getting into read only, it will change as R. And this, if this particular node is completely down, it will change as a D. So now we will be checking all the drives of all these nodes. So for that we have a common easy devices list so each drive will have 60 bay so here we can see all are empty so this as this is a simulator we don't have uh, any data in this particular drives so this is showing us empty or else the um, state will show as healthy and uh, so you can find in that so if at all any drive has failed it will show as replace or it will show as smart fail so what is the state smart fail so whenever there is a drive that is going to fail that in that particular drive the state will change to smart fail and the data will get moved to another drive so that's called smart failing. So Isilon itself finds a, a faulty drive and moves all the data from that particular drive and makes it down. So before a, a drive is going to uh, fail, we'll have a state called smart fail. Once all the data has been moved to another node, I mean another drive, then that particular state will change to replace. Then we'll need to assign a um, vendor ticket and get that particular drive replaced so this is for only node 1 as we are into node 1 this particular command shows the drives of node 1 alone so what if I want to check for other nodes if I am in node 1 and I want to check it for node 2 and node 3 as well so for that to do any operation across the cluster wise we have a command called easy underscore 4 underscore array so this particular command we can use for any of the command in front of any of the command so that that particular command will will be will be running across the nodes in the cluster so i'm going to run the same easy devices list command so this command will give me output of all the three nodes so here you can see node 1 and node 2 node 3 so these are all not in a, in a particular order. So if we have node 3 first and node 2 second and node 1 first and third. So to get all the nodes in order, we can use hyphen S. So this will list 1, 2, 3. So all the nodes in order. And let's say I'm in node 1 and I want to check only on node 3, not on all the other nodes. Then we can specifically check this particular command on one particular node by giving hyphen n and that particular node number so it's like node 3 if you want to check then give hyphen n 3 enter so it will show only for node 3 so by this you will be able to get the devices list i mean status of devices and next command is events so we will need to check the events that we have received so here we can see what are the critical events that we have received and warning everything so the events are segregated into four different severity that is warning critical emergency and informational so this informational and warning can be a smaller uh, alert i mean they do not have much uh, impact on the cluster but the emergency and critical are like more uh, more prioritized event where you will have to 
look into that very seriously so here it says critical and you can see the external network is down so the interface is down that's why it shows as a critical and here you can see LNN is nothing but the logical node number so on which particular node this particular uh, event has taken place and uh, what is the event ID and what date it has started time and when it has ended so all those things will be noted in this particular event so to check the event in elaborates you can go for easy event events list command so this will give you the same events but in a, a, it will have a lengthy description so here you can see node 1 is unprovisioned license ex extended entertainment exceeded, exceeded and uh, here you can see the network link down and it will show it is showing here which network em3 has down so here it just showed only the external network but here we can see an, a description of external network em3 is down on node 3 so here you can see the severity informational critical and uh, emergency and warning so if you want to check uh, in detail then you can just give the event id easy event view just give the event events view so you will get that particular events detail uh, or detail of uh, event like message on which node has taken place time severity all those stuff and next thing that we are going to see is the hardware of the node so to check all the hardware components of the node we have a command called easy underscore easy underscore hw underscore status so this command will show the hardware status of each node so here you can see the serial number of the node what is the configuration fan code chassis ram model and everything so as this is an simulator we are not getting more of details so when it is a real node you will get all the information like power supply status battery status temperature of the power supply temperature of the fan and all those details you will be getting in this command the same way to get this uh, command on the cluster wise use the easy underscore for underscore array command in front so you'll get the hardware status of all the three nodes in a single command so you can grab and you can take the um, necessary things that you need so we have seen the hardware and we have seen the drives and another drive we have is the boot drive apart from the data drive in isolon we have a drive called boot drive which will save the journal files that is needed for booting a node so each node will have two boot drives and i'm saying in the gen 5 and gen 6 it has changed a little so in gen 5 and below we have two boot drives in each node so that will have a life percentage so whenever there's a read write happening or uh, any kind of journal files getting read or write on that particular node i mean the drive so that particular drives life percentage gets reduced from 100 so there's a command to check that as this is a simulator we will not be able to check that particular life percentage but still i'll give you the command this command is a lengthy one where it, it just converts into a numbers and will give you the life percentage remaining so the life percentage remaining comes down from 100 to 0 and when it reaches 10 percentage we get an incident or event saying that this particular boot drive has to be replaced so if both the boot drives have failed i mean when the both the boot drives have reached 0 then the node will go down and we will not be able to power on the node through CLI or GUI we will have to manually power on the node on the data center and we lost the journal files on that particular node if both the boot drive gets failed so to avoid the situation we should be 
careful on checking the boot drive percentage on your health check. So whenever it has reached 10 percentage, the threshold, we have to replace it coordinating with the vendor. On replacing the boot drive, so the CE would need a root credential to do this as the, the node has to be shut down and has to take up the node completely and have to replace the boot drive as this is not same as the normal data drive which can be done hot swappable during online node this particular boot drive will be present inside the node so we'll have to take out the node and remove the boot drive and replace it so now we'll be seeing the the uh, status of the authentication so authentication providers so we have different authentication providers like ad ldap local and the file so we'll be seeing the status of that so for that easy auth status so this command will give you the status of the providers so here we don't have uh, ad and uh, ldap so we have local and file and this will give the status of this this particular um, authentication providers and next we'll be seeing the battery status so here you can see the battery status of uh, all three nodes as this is a simulator we don't have any battery so this will show the status of uh, both the batteries we have two batteries and it will show the results of the battery so the result will show us in numbers where each i mean numbers in sense each number is a code and each code will have will relate to one particular state so let's say if the code is 9 or 10 and it, if it is 9 then that particular battery status is good if it is 10 then the battery is not good so there are some code available for this results and that's all for the health check and you can check the same in CLI and GUI as well few options are not available in GUI so it's better always to do a health check in CLI mode to get so that you can capture all the um, all the things that are needed to do a complete health check of a Isilon cluster that's it for this lecture, then we'll see you on the next lecture.